This strapping young lad is Tristan Barnett, and he makes knives. He makes knives out of all kinds of stuff. Old tools, bed frames, car bumpers. If it's a hunk of metal, he'll make it into a knife. And I like that creativity. I like his style. And if you peruse the plethora of videos that he posts, you might get a glimpse of his murder wall. He's even got the cleaver from the zombie in Hero Quest. In this series, I'll be showing off my very own collection of Tristan Barnett's original works. This is Tristan Barnett's Wonderful Creations, and I'm your host, JJ Jakes! Stay sharp! And for this episode, I've got a few of Tristan Barnett's pieces to show off. I'm going to start the show with this knife. This one has a little bit of an interesting sheath. You have sort of a caramel colored piece of leather. Uh, and the tip is black leather. Um, and the back is as well. We have a little bit of a blemish to give it some personality. Now the knife blade has a couple of interesting things going on. Um, it's not quite a clip point blade. It's got more of a reverse tanto kind of look to it. Sort of like the Benchmade 940, which is uber popular. Well, I think this might have been made out of bed frame, because you've got this uh, black painted look. And then towards the cutting edge, you got this kind of rough cut sort of look, and it gives it a very rustic, uh, sort of frontiersman kind of look. And in Tristan Barnett style, we have the burnt wood handle, which is ergonomically shaped around this full tang construction. We've got a very generous choil going on right here, so you can really choke up on this thing without slicing your hand open. Another nice feature, because of the material, is that the back of the blade is actually rounded, giving it a nice contrast between it and the cut portions. The knotted wood in the handle, I think, really adds to the look. Very rustic. And this next piece has a rather reddish looking fake leather sheath. Uh, not sure where it came from, but you never know with Tristan Barnett's knives. This knife began its life as a file. I've got quite a few of these in my collection now. I kind of like file-made knives. It's just a really neat pattern. The steel's pretty good, and um, they're pretty heavy-duty. I mean, they're tools adapted into knives. It's a win-win. This particular piece has a rough-cut brass hilt, kind of given that, you know, rustic, barbarian-ish look. I really like the handle on this one. It's just a perfectly round uh, piece of wood. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> and you can see on the bottom of it, there's this little cap, which uh, is probably the other end of a rat tail tang. Yeah, just a really neat thing made from an old metal file. And you got that uh, unique pitting that going on. Gives it a nice look. I like it. This third piece has a really neat looking leather sheath. Uh, I don't know what it possibly could have come from, but it's got this really neat sort of almost black accented brown going on. And what we have is another knife made from a file. Now this particular one has a clip point blade. Um, the hilt which is, I think, made out of steel. Uh, it's one of those sort of half-stop deals. I don't know if that's what you actually call it. But, uh, yeah, this one's really comfortable in my hand. The handle's nice and big and rounded, and it's just the right size for me. I really feel like I'm in charge when I hold this thing. <laughs> and, of course, you got that classic cross-hatch look from the tool steel. This is also a rat 
tail tang. You can see it right there through the bottom of the handle. Glued right in there. I think the handle has a rather handsome look to it. Very distressed, uh, what do they call it? Um, a repurposed look. This is the kind of knife you'd be exploring the frontier with. And the last piece for this video, we have another sheath made of that blackish brown stuff that I like. This knife looks like it's obviously been repurposed from some kind of a tool. It's got one of these like broomstick handle style things going on with a couple of accent lines cut longitudinally through it. I imagine this could have been, I don't know, a garden trowel or something like that. And then we have the blade itself, kind of a satiny finish. Pretty shiny grind there. Good job, Tristan. I like this metal collar. It reminds me of an Oppenel or an Antonini knife. Uh, except that, you know, it's not a locking collar. This would be like an Oppenel fixed blade. Well, obviously a custom deal. Uh, construction is presumably rat tail. You can see it's glued into the handle down through there. Yeah, another nice custom piece by Tristan Barnett. It's, um... Very pointy. Well, I hope you liked this week's episode. Stay tuned for the next one. Stay sharp. <laughs>